Hello and welcome to another episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at how to repurpose content from either one InDesign document to another or maybe in the same document from page to page. But also taking advantage of some new things in InDesign CS6 that will even help you uh, update the content as you go forward but keeping the styles different. So let's take a look. So I have a document here, um, it's just a, basically a multi-page document, and I've decided to use some of the content on this page in another document. So a blank document, just created a new document from scratch, one page, and of course, uh, saved it. So now let's go back to this one. And of course, uh, the old method might have been you would have copied and pasted um, from one document to the next. And of course, we know the ins and outs of doing that. You get the same content, but of course it loses all connection to the original content. And if you make changes in one, then you'd have to go back and make the changes in the other. Now, of course, uh, InDesign has long since supported uh, things like libraries and snippets. But again, even with libraries and snippets, you'd have to constantly keep updating those items to keep them fresh for uh, content that you're placing in other documents. And even if you do use a library item, it's still not going to update across documents. So the new uh, concept is the content collector tool. The content collector tool is a new tool for InDesign CS6. And what it's going to allow me to do is basically it's like copy and paste on steroids. So let's go ahead and uh, click on it and it brings up the new conveyor panel. So you'll only see this panel when you're in the content collector tools. Now there's two tools. There's the content collector and the content placer. So with the content collector, I can now go through my content, selecting the items I want just by clicking on them, or I can drag select and grab multiple items or even shift select and grab multiple items. But I'm just gonna go ahead and just say that I want this text and I want this text and I want this photo. So as I grab those items, it starts to put them in the conveyor. Now keep in mind that both the, um, the text here is using a style sheet, a uh, paragraph style sheet called pull quote centered. And the text here is using um, a, a style sheet called first paragraph. And what I want to do is in my new document, I want to map those styles to the um, new styles in this document. So in other words, I want the same words but I want them to be styled differently. And of course, um, the main thing you have to do is make sure that you identify which styles in the new document that you're going to use, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's go back to the original document where we grabbed our three pieces of content. And now we, and again, we can go to other pages, we can keep grabbing things, but those are the only things I want right now. And we're gonna to go to our content placer tool. And on our content placer, there are two things that I checked. There's create link, We'll talk about that in a moment. And more importantly, map styles. So now let's take a look at the map styles uh, definition. So we're gonna edit those custom map styles. So what we're seeing here is what's the source document? So you're saying, where are you getting the style from? I'm getting it from the original document. What kind of style do you want? Paragraph, character, table, or cell? We're gonna do paragraph for now. And now let's go ahead and do our mappings. Now, of course, um, the names are the same in both documents, so we really don't have to do this part, but I'm just gonna show you in case your style names are different. I'm gonna go ahead and say that I wanna create the style mapping for uh, pull quote centered, and it's going to map to pull quote centered. And again, if those were different names, that's when you would use the, that's when this would be more important. And we can do another new mapping. We'll just click new, and we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna say that we're gonna use first paragraph, and again, whatever that other style would be called, which in this case is gonna be first paragraph. All right, so let's go ahead now that those two are mapped. We'll go ahead and click OK. And now we're ready, we're in the placer tool. So now we can go to our new document and the conveyor stays up. And again, this could be the same document, just a different page or new document. And now instead of pasting, we're actually placing the content. So I can actually drag out uh, the size that I want this new frame to be. So I don't have to have it paste in at the original size. So let's go ahead and uh, make it a little smaller there. Get it right in there, there we go. And 
That's the difference. So you can see the text came in, but it came in with a different style because in this new document, the paragraph style is actually different. And same thing here, we'll go ahead and drag out this frame and we'll just have it go to the other side. And the same thing though, when I let go, it comes in and the difference here is the, the um, drop cap is smaller because I told it to be three lines instead of, uh, instead of five. And now last but not least, we'll go ahead and we can place our photo. And again, we're placing so we can make this photo any size we want. We don't have to make it the original size. And of course, now that it's in the document, we can move it around and put it wherever we want. Now, as soon as I switch to the selection tool, of course, my content conveyor went away because I'm no longer on the content uh, collector tools. So if I go back to my original InDesign document, we can see the differences. So it's the same text, but different style. And that's because if we go to this style, pull quote centered, it is using uh, a different font and different color. So it's a red uh, character. And if we go to our um, basic character formats here, we can see that this is using Myriad instead of Minion. So different fonts, different, um, different setup. And this one again, if we go to first paragraph and we go to drop cap, it is using three lines and the other one was using five. So one, two, three, we go to our other layout, one, two, three, four, five. So it's a bigger drop cap. So this is how we can use content from one InDesign document to the next and even map styles so that we can um, have, that, have that second document or third document look different but with the same content. Now, of course, copy paste, you could kind of achieve that eventually with your know, styles and all that, but here's where, the, here's where this pays off. So let's say our customer says that, hey, I wanna make a text change here. Instead of self reinvention, I want this uh, to say self motivation. So we go ahead and make that change. But the difference is now when I go back to all my other documents where I place this using the uh, content placer tool, it shows me that this is now out of date. And I can choose on a on an object by object basis to update the links, or I can do it from the links panel. So on this one, since it's the only one, I'll just click and it changes to self-motivation, but keeping the style. So that's the difference. That's what you don't get with copy and paste. Uh, it'd be a lot more work, a lot harder to do this and maintain it, whereas InDesign is now keeping track of everything for me. So that's just a quick look at using the content placer tools, using uh, placing that content in another document, linking to it and mapping styles, which we can map to the same names or different style names, as long as we know which ones we wanna map to what. So that's it for this episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. My name is Terry White. Thanks for watching.